The Toronto Maple Leafs are hosting the Calgary Flames tonight here inside the Scotiabank Arena. And while there's a lot of buds that have left their legacy on the ice, there's a former Leaf that has inspired High Valley's latest single. Colby Armstrong was doing push-ups in a steakhouse on a set of Kess's house. Ryan Kessler, Anson Carter, Colby Armstrong, all legends, of course. And I was filming. It was unbelievable for me to get to hang out with those guys. Now we're great friends. We have a text thread a mile long, and it's pretty hilarious. But Colby starts doing push-ups, and Kessler and Anson Carter are like, dude, are you getting in a workout? What's going on? He's like, never not, bro, never not. You don't get a body like this without working out after hours, never not. And I'm like, Colby, I'm going to, for real, write a song called Never Not. Never not, never not. It has nothing to do, thankfully. <laughs> Push-ups in a steakhouse. It doesn't have anything to do with that, but it is a real story for me because if anybody knows me or has hung out with me, they know that no matter how cool the after party is or who you can rub shoulders with, I'm probably ducking out to like FaceTime my family or watch one of my son's basketball games on, on like Facebook Live. And the verse says, it's a crowded room, but I feel all alone. I had to call you on the phone because I'm never not thinking about you. So I want to go to your 1995 MVP season <laughs> between the pipes. When you yeah. was that the year you kind of peaked and then thought, you know, you're going to go to country music after, or you were going to go the NHL route? I probably did. It was 97 when I played against Jordan Tutu. So I'd say I peaked in 95 because in 97 I allowed 21 goals against Tutu in one game. Not just him. His Somebody else probably scored once. You're going to be an NHL guest analyst this weekend on Hockey Night in Canada. How do you prep for something like this? And you have a broadcast analyst voice that you've been working on. Oh, man. I, I have not been working on a different voice. I prefer <laughs> to just use one and keep it simple. But I do want to get with the behind-the-scenes uh, statisticians. Is that how you refer to them? Because I want to be that guy that looks in the camera and says, that's the first goal by a left-handed defenseman after 8.35 Eastern on a Saturday night in two and a half weeks. You know, like that kind of information. I want to have like, and people say, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. But if you drop something like that, I don't think anyone will question it. So they'll be like, what? So maybe yeah, they'll just, just believe me. You're like, this yeah. is amazing news. Yeah, well, <laughs> amazing news. <laughs> wow. You can watch Brad drop his hockey knowledge on Sportsnet on Saturday just before 7 p.m. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.